Alrighty, g'day everybody, it's the dog, yeah! It's been a while since I've done a commentary video, but I'm gonna need to do one to highlight today's video, which again is Gran Turismo 7. Basically, I want to highlight this massive AI flaw in one of the cars in this game, the Wicked Fabrication GT51 for some reason. The AI cannot drive this car properly in both wet or dry conditions. I did choose a wet race. This would explain the massive purple sky instead of grey like it should be. But anyway, this seems to be a massive oversight. I don't know what the heck is going on, but for some reason, the AI cannot drive this car. This is a custom livery, as are all the cars in this race. Look at this. I did a race at the Saad Egna Layout B this morning in the dry and the AI of this car for some reason was just acting up like crazy and I just completed this race a few minutes ago now and I put the car in as an opponent and I really have no idea why this car is acting so weird. Seems to me the programmers didn't program the AI properly with this car and as a result, it cannot drive properly. Look at this. This is just insane. This is a custom race, of course. All my opponents are from the garage and they all carry liveries that I've created. I want to see how long it takes for this car to complete the first lap of the race. Look at that, straight into the wall again. I don't... My goodness. I like how you can name your opponents in the custom races as well. And there goes me lapping the car. And this orange and green livery I put together this morning after I bought it. Seriously, I never expected the AI to not be able to drive this car. Like, this is a massive flaw in the game. Come on, blue flag. And he just goes straight off. Goodness gracious, what is this AI bloody car doing, I tell you? This is some very poor programming. I have not seen any videos on this particular car and it's broken AI at all, so that's why I created this one. Look at this. Into the wall again. Whether it was wet or dry, this car will still continue to act like an idiot. Look, he's just sitting here watching all the cars go by. They even named some of the opponents Slowwad, because you know me. Always complain about Slowwads in my Gran Turismo videos. Look at that, the entire field, and there goes me for a second time, has lapped this car and it hasn't even completed the first lap. We're about three minutes into the video itself. Look! And now he's gone off again! Ugh. Oh. Come on, don't you know how to drive? I've been playing Gran Turismo since I was 15 years old and even I wasn't this bad, you know? <laughs> and again. Come on, are you ever going to complete the first lap? And he got the blue flags out again. See if you can spot the driver names that I've entered for each car. As well as do your best to pause it to look at each car. Unfortunately, I'm not sharing any of these cars within the game itself. Holy 
the other drivers must be thinking, who the bloody hell is this? Come on, move! That's me telling this car to get the heck out of my road. And off he goes again. Oh, good one. Yep, that's right. It said Jay Cena. Oh, look, there's Sir Paul. <laughs> Even the slow ones are left in this useless car. Even this bloody combi here. Five minutes and it's still to please the first lap. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Only a few more yards. And straight into the wall. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You know what, I think I've got my point across with this rather short video. Be sure to leave a like and comment down below, and if you play Gran Turismo 7, be sure to let me know if you've witnessed this car do the exact same idiotic AI behaviour. Until next time, this is the Doggy, saying have a great day everybody, and we shall see you again.